Hi everybody, how you doing? Um, this is Krita, and I've just learned the most incredible thing about it today. Now, I love this app, but I haven't been using it much throughout the years, and there's one simple reason why. Now, what do you suppose that would be? I've been complaining a lot lately about TVP and other apps, you know. What do you think stops me from using this one? No, it's not how to copy-paste frames. That works fine in this app. It's not how to drag things around in the time, how to drag frames around this timeline. That works great here too. No, there's a completely different problem in this app that stopped me from using it. And it's this right here. When you go into a race mode, this app does its own weird different thing with erasing from other apps. It's based on whatever tool you're using like this up here. And if you're using a nice ink tool, it'll erase nice and solid. But if you're using a sketchy pencil tool like this, and you go into race mode, look what happens. It erases so small and so weak based on what you have your, your tool set to. Well, I don't want to have to have big like this. When I go back to drawing mode, it's going to draw huge, right? You just can't win with this app, it feels like. So I avoided this app for years. And I've been curious about it. I've searched before and I couldn't find a fix for this. I posted on Reddit before and didn't get a good answer to this. But look what I, I just learned tonight when I searched online. I searched using different terms and I found an answer. You just click this little button here, you see this? And you just tick these two settings on, close it out. And now when we go into a race mode, it's independent of what it's like out of a race mode. You can change it however you want and it will remember that, including the opacity there. And finally, I have a nice big eraser to defeat this boss with. Goodbye, boss. I can erase you. You're dead. I win. And I can go back to my small pencil tool that I have. You see that? Big eraser. Small pencils. Yes, beautiful. Now, you, I want to talk about something. I complain a lot about TVP and stuff. We need to have a Krita talk right now. Dear Krita developers, why the hell... Is this not like this by default? Could you please answer? You know, I found other people talk about online that, yeah, I voted the app too because I couldn't figure this out either. Like, this is crazy. This is not on by default. And who would think to do that? Who would think to look here? Who would know this? Like, dang, there's so many bells, button whistles in this thing. Who would think to look there? But whatever the case, I'm very happy there is a way to fix it. I'm very happy it works. And I've learned some other things about this app. I think I'm going to work with this app for a while now. I'm going to give this a real go at animating. Um, there's a lot about Krita I love, especially this fact that you can uh, use the select tool. If it won't, I don't know why it's not coming up there. I thought I made a hotkey for it. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Right? You go copy, con or control C, control shift V. And you can do this with it, right? And you get so much power with a little tool like this. So much you can do with that. You know, rotating. There's even this whole thing. And uh, once you stamp in place, I wish it was like Autodesk. I wish it would remember to return me to my last used tool. So you do need a few more hotkeys versus sketchbook where you got to deselect it and a hotkey to get back to your brush. But all in all, that still loads better than what TVP does, where you have to hit all these different hotkeys to use all these different functions. You know, it's nice to have an all-in-one manipulation tool like that, is what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm going to give this app a real go, and uh, probably post some thoughts as I go, make more videos about it. Me and Krita, we're now best friends again. Till next time, folks, take care.